snow, an unusual request lands this guy behind bars. Police say he tried to buy an eight-year-old little girl from her mother. This is News 6 and 530. I'm Matt Austin. I'm Ginger Gatz, and the girl's mom says the man made several advances. And at one time, police say he even touched and kissed the little girl on the wrist. Now, this happened at a location along Dunlawton Avenue in Port Orange. It happened on Friday. Lauren Corn spoke to the mom about this alarming arrest. It was frightening. A trip to this Port Orange Walmart turned into a frightening situation for Tracy Nye and her eight-year-old daughter Friday afternoon. It seemed like a friendly conversation. Um, he didn't seem a threat at first. Nye says 81-year-old Helmuth Culp sat down next to her and her daughter on a bench inside the store. She says he started asking personal questions and then asked if he could buy her daughter. first amount was $100,000. The second amount was 150000 and then the final amount was 200000 to where I had to then say no. Nye says she was about to get up when Cole pulled her daughter, grabbing her arms, legs, and kissing her hand. I think what was going through my mind was, uh, what is going to happen here? And I just need to get her away as quickly as possible. Nye told Walmart security and called police. She also posted to social media. Police saying another woman came forward sharing a similar experience, and because of that, too, and detailed description, investigators were able to make the connection and make an arrest. I've known him for like uh, probably 10 years or more. We spoke with Kolb's next door neighbor who says he's been friends with Kolb and his wife for years and couldn't believe what he read in the paper. I said, this is a crazy man. Then I looked at the picture closer and I thought, oh, was my neighbor. Kolb faces charges of false imprisonment and battery. He has since bonded out of jail and was very short when we went to his Port Orange home, claiming he didn't know why he was in court in the first place. I don't know for what I mean. Here for and did what's staying. I felt it was a duty to the community that I needed to warn other parents. The more that come forward, the better, I think, for this and for the community. And Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Troy back again to hit you with a video. Now, this video right here comes out of Port Orange, Florida. Big shout out to all my people in the Florida area, all the way from Tallahassee, all the way to down to Miami, MIA, yo. Anyway, we have a old crazy ass case right here, and I don't understand how anybody could not see this coming. In. And I'll be wondering, you ever go to Walmart sometimes? For those who still shop at Walmart, ain't nothing wrong with Walmart. Everyday low prices. Anyway, you ever go in there, you see certain people just sitting down, these old ass men, mostly men, be some women sometimes too. And I'd be like, what the hell are they doing just sitting there? Are they tired? Then you start thinking, well, you know, maybe they tired, their legs hurt, or they waiting on somebody. Some of the time, they just be sitting there waiting on a little action. Yeah. Like I tell you all, you all might think it's a joke. It may be what? Snow on top, but it's still a little fire down below. But this fire right here is not reserved for uh for little kids. You should keep that fire for grown-ass women. Old as this guy is, to be 81 years old, he, he look up every bit of 111. Yes, he does. Or 121. He he looked way past the age of the Crip Keeper from Tales from the Crip, which means that 81 years old, he know better. He know right from wrong. And if he that damn see now, he need to be in somebody what home somewhere, chilling with his feet propped up, uh, giving these nurses advances. And I don't know if he thought this woman was a crackhead that she was out here selling her child or herself, because you got women that do that also. You got guys do it, but you do have women out here doing it. I don't know if he thought. What he seen on TV was real or whatnot. He may be watching a documentary last night about the uh, the little kids. What's that? What's that place? Yeah, in the Philippines and Brazil where they be trafficking their kids. I don't know if he thought that he could do the same thing in Florida, but guess what? This is America, like Childish Gambino says, which means any damn thing goes. But guess what? A lot of things do not roll. Now, not only did this guy try to offer this woman money, he went he went from it's, it's like he was doing an auction. Can I get a hundred dollars? Can I get a hundred fifty thousand? Can I get a hundred seventy five? Can I get two hundred five? Two hundred two two fifty? You feel me? He was trying to he was trying to bet the house on this little child, and I don't understand why this woman reach all the way back and kiss her. First, you gotta kiss your hand. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna teach you how to properly give. Uh, a slap. You feel me? There's not no pimp slap because we ain't out here pimping fools. You know what I'm saying? Not in this case at least. But what you got to do is just, you can either kiss your hand or you just spit on it. But in this case, spit on it. Just go, Patoey! just spit on your damn hand and reach all the way back and point at them. You got to point at them so they can see it. You go just like this and just come all the way back with all the way from the panhandle of Florida coming through Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, all the way back to Port Orange and make your hand connect. And I guarantee you, you might knock some sense into this old ass guy. And also, this guy started grabbing on a little girl, kissing on a little girl. 
Shit, mama, you supposed to whoop this ass. You supposed to grab everything in your shopping cart, your bag, or went and got something. You feel me? Well, don't go get nothing. Don't leave your child. But reach down and got someone yell for help and just start clap, whooping his ass. That's all I know. I don't, I don't know nothing else because this is my little baby. And you think I'm going to let some grown ass old man or woman? You know what I'm saying? I probably took a little easy on a woman. Probably a little push. You a old freak. You better go on somewhere. I probably would have did that type of thing to, to the woman. And if she kept coming back, I might have to go, you know what I'm saying? I might have to go on. Two piece up, you know what I'm saying? She might have a damn gun or something. You that damn crazy, you know what I'm saying? Big as I am, and I'm not the biggest man to wear no Bob Sapp. But guess what though? I'm not no damn spud web neither. You feel me? If if you touch anything of mine, it's gonna be hell to pay. It's gonna be what? Smoke in the city. I'm gonna read a snippet from this story and I'm gonna get my opinion. Yes, I am. Surely as we go. Florida man tried to buy girl from mother. At Walmart, police say. I guess he figured everything else at Walmart is on sale, so why not try to go buy a child? Walmart do not sell kids that we know about. You feel me? You at the wrong damn place for all that. Now, an 81-year-old man who offered money to a woman at a Port Orange Walmart to buy her 8-year-old daughter on Friday has been arrested. Port Orange police say, good job, Port Orange police. Arrest that old nasty bastard. Police said Tracy and I was sitting on a bench. I told you the bench inside the Walmart on Dunlawton Avenue with her daughter when she said Helmut Cobes. Sound like somebody fresh out of hell. His first name is Hale. So they let you know he's devil, son. That's devil product right there. Approached them. He approached them like, well, you got some some balls, don't you? You know what I'm saying? They know what they say about them old men. So I, I guess evidently it was real. Now, the mother said he asked her if she was married and then asked her about the eight-year-old daughter. The mom probably thought he was trying to come on her. She's like, oh, no, hell no, you geriatric. Hell no. But he didn't want the mom, no. He didn't want the mature thing, no. He want the uh, immature thing. He want the uh, the cookies that's still in the oven that ain't coming out for two years later. You know what I'm saying? He don't want the cookie that's already cooked and done, just like a lot of these other guys. I don't understand that concept neither. Now, she says, it seemed like a friendly conversation. No, it's not, because you asked me if I'm married and you old as hell, then you asked about my daughter. This is not no friendly conversation. That's why. That's why. And like Cat Williams said, I must quote him on this. We all need different races of people that's uh our friends, whether it's a Mexican, white, or black. We need somebody to pull us to the side. So when we go somewhere, like in this situation, just imagine if she was there with a black person. Black person would say, hell no. You feel me? What you mean? What, what, what you mean you asking about if I'm married or, or, or my daughter? You ought to be my great, great granddaddy. You, you feel me? We would have let her know, look, Tracy, he's trying something. Now, if we was in a different situation and we was trying to get a bank loan or something, we had our little white friend there, they will tell us, certain things like this is what you got to do this is this is the cost this is the era on it this is what we would get back for these cds these deposits or whatnot you know you need different people of ethnicity of color around you so they can warn you when what evil lurks you know what i'm saying if you ain't got no weed if you ain't got no budge like chris tucker said on friday uh we let you know when the evil lurks you better have somebody else besides you because i guarantee you if she would have had one of a brother or sister there well that wouldn't have went no further right there he would have known better notice he didn't walk up to no sister and say that excuse me keisha excuse me brenda uh it, uh, uh are you married as soon as he would have said that pow you feel me oh i thought he was gonna try something which he was you read his mind like a vunt now she says it seemed like a friendly conversation now i said he didn't seem like a threat at first and neither does a damn mountain lion to it bite your ass cole then began asking now several times if she would take money in exchange for her daughter, you could have asked me the first time, and that would have been enough right there. I would have let you meet uh, Bill, Hillary, Tom, Bob, and Barack. Bam. And you would have got socked. The first amount was 100000 was 100000 I couldn't even get it out right. The second amount was 150000 Damn. Oh, Helmet Cole must be caked up. Must, Helmet must got that bag. He must be braided up. And who knows how he got it. And then the final amount was 200000 Now I said, I then said, no, we have to go. You mean to tell me all these women are running around uh, Port Orange in Florida, period. All these strippers and prostitutes. You could have went down a damn King of Diamonds. You could have went down a Magic City, Chocolate City. You could have went to any damn strip club or, or just on a block and spent $10, $20, maybe 40 You know, some of you all premiums is 40 and, and saved you about a hundred some thousand and also the embarrassment and also a catching a charge but it was meant just like they say it was meant to be it was meant to get his ass off the street and this is what it took sometimes it takes that now now i said she was becoming more and more uncomfortable 
no shit, no shit. With the situation, so she got up to leave with her child. You should have got up and left when he came over there asking you about, are you married, and your child. He probably come over there, got his hand in his pocket, he going up and down, scratching all on his junk and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about his booty, neither. I'm just trying to keep it a little clean for my older uh, listeners out there who's around helmet cold age, you know what I'm saying? Much respect to you all also. I got people all kinds of ages listening to me. That's why I got to get these damn disclaimers out sometime because I be having them young, I be having them old. I be like, what the hell are young ones do here? They be like, well, I want you to be my daddy. <laughs> anyway, I think what was going through my mind was what was going to happen here? I'll tell you what we went through in my mind. I would have started looking for the closest thing I could find to knock the shit out of. Then y'all would say, well, that's an old man. Well, there ain't no old man when they kidnap your damn child. Your child wind up in a damn forest or wood area somewhere raped and stuff. It won't be no old man or old woman then. The hell with all that. You got to meet uh, You got to meet their aggression with just as much, much aggression or if greater aggression. But in this case, greater aggression, which means if you slap me, I'm going to hit you. If you hit me, that's your ass. We, gonna, we ain't going to say no more. And I just need to get her away as quickly as possible. She said, yeah, because he didn't want your ass. He wanted your daughter. You could have been laying there butt ass naked or like we say, bucket naked like Bernie Mac. And he would have passed you up to go over there to get your daughter who's probably building some damn Legos or a Jenga set or on her little uh, Apple iPad. He don't want no grown woman. No, he want kids. And why do they get like this? I do not know. It's like, you know, I used to think when people got older in life that they would become wiser and smarter. But as I look around, that's not the case. And that's why I said what I said about the video with Steve Harvey, that age does not bring wisdom. Experience brings wisdom. And some people are just called, like they say, uh, nouveau's autos de seclorum. Many are called. Few are chosen. You see what I'm saying? So you can be a whole damn fool. And like my granddaddy used to tell me, and I never thought, I never knew what that meant until I got just a, a few years older. He said it's one thing to be a young fool. I made a lot of mistakes when I was young. You know, but he said it's another thing to be an old fool. When he said that, I'm like, what the hell do he mean by that? And as I read these stories and do these stories, <laughs> James, yes, James, your words done came true. And may he rest in peace, my grandpa, because he had some wisdom. He had some stuff. You know, he'll just sit there and talk to you. And he said that one day, he said, it's one thing, Trey, to be a young fool, but it's another thing to be a, an old fool. And I said, an old fool? I thought people were smart when they get older. No, the hell they're not. Let's go and finish. As the pair were leaving, police said Cole grabbed the girl's arm, tried to pull her in toward him, and kiss her wrist. Oh, hell no. That would have been your last kiss. That would have been uh the long kiss goodnight like that movie. Or he tried to do like that Judas kiss. You know what I'm saying? But that evilness, when evil in his heart. Now I pulled her daughter back and left the area immediately, notifying Walmart security before leaving the store, according to the arrest report. The incident was captured on surveillance video at the store. I'm going to say, because I know they got surveillance video. If they, if they can catch your ass stealing on aisle 13, or if they can catch you taking a grape or two out, even though the grape been sitting there, or a pack of cookies, you know what I'm saying? You're going to eat a pack of cookies or whatnot. I'm sure they got cold ass harassing this little girl and her mom. Deputies said the video shows Cole grabbed the victim and forcibly restrained her against her will. What the hell is wrong with this old ass bastard, man? What the hell is wrong with people these days? This is like the movie The Crazies. I'm telling you, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. That's why you better keep your spirit intact. Y'all think it's a game. I'm telling you, you better wake up every day and say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Just say it one time. I'll say it three times. Hell, many times. Say it, because I'm telling you. It'll keep, it'll keep the demons away. It'll keep them spirits away because people out here are losing a rabbit ass mind like my grandma used to say. Deputies were able to identify Cole through his credit card transaction and other investigative means, including social media. What his old ass doing on social media? You feel me? Is you talking to your son or your daughter in Korea or in uh, New York somewhere? You know how kids leave and they go stay somewhere else. What the hell are you on social media for, Pops? Where another woman said she had experienced a similar incident with Cole. Cole is down for the get down, but Cole is going to get laid down if he mess with the wrong person, child, in their town. Now I posted about the incident on Facebook to warn others about the encounter. I felt like it was a duty to my community, she said. Let me repeat that. She said, I felt like it was a duty to my community that I needed to warn other parents. Now I said that Cole was out here trying to get kids booted. That's exactly how I should have went right there, even though she did not say that. She said, that I warned other parents. But in my in my word, the way I would have said it, it, it would have been, I felt like it was my duty 
to warn my community that Cole was out here trying to get your kids booted. The more that came forward, the better, I think, for this in for the community. So Cole was a damn straight up menace, like MCA said on the movie uh, Menace of Society. He was not given zero Fs. Cole was charged with simple battery and false imprisonment. He was booked into the Volusia County Jail on Saturday. Why is he not charged with a sex charge? I guarantee you if it was somebody else, they would have charged that with a sex charge. How in the hell could you not have charged this man with some kind of sex offense for doing this to this eight-year-old child on camera? Who gives a damn about him being old? If he's that old, he ain't going to sit his old ass down somewhere. You feel me? Because you're too old to be doing that type of stuff right there. Let me know what you all would have did in this situation if this was your child. I know some of y'all would have just went the hell off and y'all be up here, but well, Trey, y'all need to do a GoFund for my mom or my dad because he took your advice and the other people in the comment section and uh, they were saying if stuff like this happened, you know what I'm saying, to do this. So you need to do a GoFundMe shout out and see can you bail my mom or dad out of jail because they beat the hell out of one of these people out here trying to touch on us. Anyway, let me know what you all think. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share the video and stuff because you never know what you may be getting yourself into. And be careful when you go in these stores and stuff, especially you women. Some of you guys, too. You don't think some of these men will wrestle your ass down the bathroom? I look behind me and I'm six foot four, 235, might be 240 now. But I even watch my back, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like Martin, you know what I'm saying? God come up behind my back, it's going to be smoking the city. But I remember one thing Martin Lawrence said off the Martin show. He said, What? Mama said, Lock my cheeks. You got to lock your cheeks sometimes. I'm telling you. Watch your back. They out here. They don't give a damn if you're a man, woman, big, tall, small, or whatever. They want them draws. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Y'all stay blessed. I'm out.